Now then crew, and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, a um, bit of a sort of last minute job here. I had a Turtle Platts 2000 series, so year 2000, came in, um, got a phone call this morning, can I do a quick oil and filter change on it? The car does, it hardly gets used. I've known it for about the last three, four years. And uh, just to tell you how, you know, highlight how little this car gets used. The last time I changed the oil on this car was three years ago. It really covers nothing. And I've no idea on the Ks that it's covered, but it, it goes like two Ks a day. Uh, yes, I've told them to change the oil at least once a year, but it never happens. So um, the engine in this car is a two, it's a, obviously a Toyota, so it's a two NZ-FE. And uh, all we're doing is an oil and filter change. So if you've got one of these cars, this is how you do the oil and filter change. And the, the part number for the oil filter, it's not genuine, unfortunately, but it's a, a Z191A. There you go, look. Or an ARF320, depending on the brand. This one is, God, I've never heard of them before, full auto parts. Yeah, there you go, look. Another part number for you there. Okay, it's full of part number, this one. Okay, so we need one of those, and obviously we're going to need some oil. And the oil I've chosen for this particular vehicle is this stuff, this uh, Gulf Western 10W30. And you'll need about four litres of that. I think this is a five litre can. It is, so we'll have a bit of spare. Okay, short video, Andy. So we're going to head outside, drain the oil, pull off the old oil filter, spin on the new one, put the sump plug back in, top it up with oil. That's it. That's an oil change. Right, crew, here we go. Almost forgot, the, the young lady brought me one of these. Look at this, because it's Easter time. She brought me some gifts, some nibbles. A bit posh, isn't it? Right, there you go, so I'll nibble those later on. Good old customers, eh? Okay, your sump bung is just here, and it's a 14 mil. Tiny. There you go. Pretty easy. You know, I almost didn't make a video doing this because you guys now have to do all changes, but it sort of takes me back to the start of the old YouTube channel. There we go. Right, so let's go find a rag. Okay, we'll leave that oil to drain, and whilst that's doing that, we'll take the oil filter out. Oh, it's always fun getting the camera angle right for me. Okay, oil filter. Nope, wrong way. Oh, it doesn't go small enough. Damn you. It is a little tiny oil filter. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Oh, I'm back. Don't panic. Now you can take all this off if you want, but there's no real need. If we can get in there with this. Get it cracked off. Uh, 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 now, I did this last, so this is going to be ridiculously tight because they always end up being really tight after I've done them. Man, who did this look for? There we go. Cool, that's loose. Right, we'll stick the bung back in again so I can move the drip tray. You should really put a new washer on there. We haven't got one. Always tighten to uh, 
manufacturer's torque specifications. Click, there we go. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, get up in the wipe. We get a wipe so we know that there's no leaks later on when we check it. Oh. Okay. Time to get oil down my arm, I reckon. Hopefully not. Still pretty hot this oil. Cow only arrived about 10 minutes ago. Exactly. No oil on the camera. Now, dodge that bullet. Okay. Wait, easy tiger. I'll stick that on the post, let it drain off. Never a clean thing doing an oil change, unfortunately. Always a clean your hands. I was hoping, hoping Tool will send me here today. She's got a problem with her car. And we're going to fix that as well, but uh, she's not turned up, so maybe she's got it fixed. There we go. Right. Back in the workshop, let's take a look at that new filter. Okay, so just while the last few dregs of oil drain out of that uh, oil pump network, you know, the, the bit where the filter goes on, we'll, uh, we'll pull out the new filter. God, I hope it's the right one. Jeez, it's really small, isn't it? There you go, look, there's your part number. It's a high quality, huh, full oil filter. Yeah. It's high quality. It's got grease on the on the O-ring. Have a look. Oh yeah, there's a bit of lube on there. It's not really grease, but that'll do the trick. Okay, what does it say on here? <clears throat> oh, it's interchangeable with all of these. Yeah, look, many many different numbers on there. Okay, and it says here tighten filter with hands, with an S at the end, possibly. About three quarters of a turn after the gasket. That's the O-ring makes contact with the mounting surface of the engine. Run the engine for three minutes and check for leaks. It should put, number two, number two should be, put oil in engine. But uh, I suppose I'll take that for granted, don't I? So, <clears throat> oh, look at that. So we've actually got, this is a smaller filter, it better be the right one. We've actually got a proper little cap wrench. It goes on there, look, onto the top. And it sort of locks onto all those little flats. It'll be a lot easier to tighten up. We'll just put a 17mm socket on the end of it. Right, just before we head outside, it's always a good idea to double check that your filter, your new one, is going to fit the car. And you should always compare it to the old one, so make sure that the thread size looks about the same. That's pretty good. This one's got an O-ring seal on it. This one's got a big sort of square section, rubber seal, but that doesn't matter. Both are the same diameter and about the same sort of length. So everything's looking pretty good. So we know that that really, it should go on, providing the threads are the correct pitch and everything. Which, if you look in there, look, they look about the same, don't they? I reckon. Okay, this time we really are going to go outside. To the car, here we go. Just make sure it's nice and clean up on that surface where the gasket uh, makes contact. We don't want any dirt on there. There we go. A bit of grass out of the filter. There we go. Right. Yeah, we need to spin that on. Hopefully, it's the right thread. There we go. So it's making contact about there. As per the book, it said about three quarters of a turn. So we'll get that cap on there. The three quarters will bring us around to, to here. I want a bit more, sorry. There we go, I'm happy with that. 
don't want it falling off, do we now? Okay, so next job <clears throat> is to remove the tool for fitting the filter. Big pair of pliers, I reckon. These are always a pain to get off. There we go. Perfect. Right, sump bung's in. That's torqued up. Uh, oil filter's in. That's basically set to the right torque. All we need now is some oil in the engine, so we need to go top side. Right, oil filler. Always have a good, a big rag to hand just in case you make a terrible mistake and spill oil all over the place. At least you can try and catch most of it using your rag. Now, is that going to there for us? Yeah, that's right. I'll just chuck that rag around the base there. Cool. Always take your time filling up with oil. You don't want to overflow your funnel, and you really don't want to overflow the uh, overfill the engine. That would be terrible because that can cause all sorts of problems. I'm going to put about three and a half liters in, and then we'll get the car off the jacks, get it on the level ground, run the engine up for a few minutes, turn it off, let it settle for a few minutes, check the oil level and then we'll top it up to, uh, because the engine's hot at the moment, so we'll top it up to the maximum mark. Now this car, now this car does very rare of a mileage every year, so I'm just going to give it a quick check on the ball joints and the steering joints, which there's nothing loose down here, wheel bearings and stuff. Check the tyres with it, you know, not out of ground. Just basically like a warrant check on those, you know. Now this is one of the rare four-wheel drive versions pretty cool. It's got drive shafts front and rear. Oh, well, that side's fine. Let's go check the other side. Drain for two or three minutes. We'll check the oil. Okay, so the car's parts on a nice level surface. It's been draining for two or three minutes. Back down to the sump. We should be able to get a pretty accurate oil level reading now. Bearing in mind the engine's pretty hot because it's uh, the car's been driven straight in. So we don't want to be over the maximum. That's for sure. Look at that, we're about one millimeter below the max. That's perfect for me, I'll leave that alone. It's not often that happens, is it? Okay, right, just before we sign off, so I'll check the, uh, check the belts, make sure there's no perishing on the belts, and check the coolant level, make sure the radiator's not coolant, which it 
is with the cable sliding through, so the radiator is, there's nothing to undo the cap because the engine's hot anyway. You can tell that there's coolant, there's no air in those pipes. So we'll just check the level in the bottle, uh, check the brake fluid, and we'll check the washer fluid. That's always a good one to do for the service. Okay, so a coolant expansion tank is this one here. And we'll just check that. Full mark's about three inches from the top. That looks fine to me, so we'll leave that one alone. Done. Brake fluid. Oh, yeah. Minimum line's right down there. Maximum line is just above this seam on the reservoir. So again, it's at maximum, so we'll leave that alone. Doesn't look too bad. Could probably do with a fluid flush at some point. It's getting a little bit dark. Okay, and washer fluid. Well, there's only water in there, and it's almost full, so we'll just put a bit of additive in there, and that'll be done. This is what I use: Abra windscreen windshield washer, and this is concentrate. I don't need to dilute it because there's only water in the in the tank at the moment, and it's almost full. So there you go crew, super quick. Oil and filter change on a 2000 Toyota Platts with the 2NZ-FE engine, whatever the hell that is. And we did a few other bits and pieces as well, just checked a few levels, real basic stuff. So, you know, I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs. I'm sure most of you know how to do the levels check. Uh, some other stuff that I'm, I'm gonna do that's not on camera is obviously checking all the lights, make sure that they work, and of course, setting the tire pressures. Uh, this car had to have a couple of new tyres um, on the last service uh, three years ago and uh, the reason for that is they were way underinflated and it caused you know, adverse wear on the tread. She's a pretty old lady to be honest and she, she just doesn't check tyre pressures or anything. She just uses the car to pot her down to the shops and pot her home again. So it was pretty understandable that they were, they were shot. Okay, well, um, just to cover that screen wash again. There you go, look. Local supplier for that, it's pretty good stuff. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's a pretty good price there. Uh, oil, well, you saw the oil earlier on. Um, the Gulf Western oil that we used and the part number for the oil filter. So really, that's it. Brings us to the end of the video. Nice, short, sweet video for you. If you found it helpful, why not click on the subscribe button uh, and then you can um, basically click on the gear icon and then tick the box and turn on notifications. That way our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos and there's I would say two or three every single week usually although there's been a bit of a drought recently uh, you'll also find me on Facebook Instagram Google Plus and Twitter feel free to communicate through any of those portals we do now have a patron account so if you found this video helpful or other videos on the channel helpful and you feel like flicking a few bucks our way 50 cents whatever it is doesn't matter it all helps this um, channel doesn't make any profit, it's done for fun, basically. I thoroughly enjoy doing it, it's more of a hobby. Uh, but it is taking up more and more of my time, which I don't mind, because, you know, you guys enjoy it. Okay, uh, last but not least, you can drop onto the Uniform NZ website, and you can buy your own Andy Mechanic YouTube shirt. Uh, and if you get one, then flick through a selfie on Instagram, and you go in to win, or into a draw to win, some free Teng tools. But don't forget to do hashtag Andy Mechanic. Tag me in on your photo on Instagram. And then that particular photo will go into that month's draw. And there's no limit to the number of times you can enter over the year. Um, you know, one entry per month, please. And those tools will be shipped out to you anywhere in the world, free of charge. Cheers, Teng tools. Thank you for that. Okay, crew, well, until next time, see you around. Over and out. Hey, tool girl, Sam. How are I'm you? Back. You're back? It's fantastic. So I know, and I've got a new shirt, so I thought it's only right that I give you a new shirt, too, so. There you go. I'm so excited for my new shirt, and I don't have to wear different shirts every day. And as a classic Tall Girl Sam move, I am going to...
to wear it like this. Wow, would you look at that. I'd say that is a great present for your girlfriend. If she's into tools. If she's not, she's probably into tools because you're a tool. See what I did there? Tall girl shirt, perfect.